Uh, Rick has actually known me for a long time. Uh, when I was 15 years old, uh, he lives here with me in Frederick, Maryland, and he was working with me at uh, Extra Innings, teaching me how to throw a submarine. And I've known him for a while, and then I guess he followed me through my college career. He asked me last year if I wanted to uh, go out and play for Winnipeg, but I currently signed with the Can-Am League, and I wasn't allowed to be traded. And I got in touch with him this winter, and I've been working out with him. And he liked what he saw from me, and he offered me a contract. And it was a no-brainer to sign, so I'm looking forward to coming. Uh, it took, um, well, my high school coach told me and Rick told me it would take about half a year to learn the adjustment. And I picked it up, I think, in about three months. And now I pre definitely perfected it more than I did when I was 15 years old. But it took a lot of practice. I initially had trouble just getting it over the plate. But just through hard work, it, it came naturally to me. So. Yeah, it is, but um, you also do have to realize that it is a business, and I do have to pitch well, and he's not going to keep me around just for personal connections. He made me well aware that if I don't play well, then I'm not going to be there that long, just like anybody else, so I'm not getting any kind of special treatment that I've known him for a while. Yeah, I watched. I watched a few people. Um, currently, I was. I've been watching uh, Darren O'Day. Um, he plays for the Baltimore Orioles. Ironically, it's right in my area. Um, but yeah, I've been watch. I've been watching him a lot. Uh, he's really the main guy I focused on, and I tried to perfect my delivery after him. He's been an effective relief pitcher, not a closer. So he's going to be pretty much what I am, just a relief pitcher coming in trying to get ground ball outs. Something that I'll be looking to do in this summer. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't know, something about the pressure that I like, um, but I'm willing to take any role that Rick wants to give me. Um, I just want to help our team win, and I know this team is all about winning, and I just want to do what I can to help them win. It was definitely a big jump. I came from a small Division three college, uh, basically playing at... Um, places with no fans. Sometimes we even played at a local park. And so now making a big jump into a stadium with uh, fans in it, it's definitely something different and unique. Um, normally we would show up about two hours before the game, get our regular BP in, and then just go right into playing. And the professional level now we're showing up three, four hours before the game, doing our running, doing our throwing, and then taking our BP. And I definitely learned a lot last year uh, playing in the Can-Am League, and I'm looking forward to taking what I learned last year and putting it forward to this year. <laughs> it, it was definitely a grind. Uh, we lived in a Motel 8, and so we would travel. We would take our own cars to um, all of our games. And we, when we played in Canada, we would take a team bus. So we never had any home fans uh, cheering for us. Some fans actually did show a little bit of sympathy because we, I got to talk to them a lot and they realized how tough it was. Um, but definitely living out of a motel aid is pretty, pretty rough. I did that for about a month or two. So it's definitely a grind. Well, I am wearing a Brunswick shirt. It has the Orioles colors, but um, that's because I play for a local adult league team that pretty much uh, had those colors. But I am a Nationals fan. Um, been a fan since they moved in 2005. So if I had to choose, it would be Washington. Um, no, I mean, it, the ERA, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I look more at how many wins I got, how many losses I lost, and how many saves I got, because that really impacts more whether you won or lost. Uh, the ERA, it's a, it's a cool number to have, but it's not one of my main, main numbers that I look at when evaluating how I pitched. Um, 
if you look at my pictures in college, I had really long hair. Um, what I did was I actually donated that to um, Wigs for Kids. So I would grow my hair about 10 inches long. It'd be down to my shoulders, and then I would cut it off, and they would donate it. Um, all right, now my hair is growing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I might keep it. I might cut it. I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to Rick and see what his hygiene policy is with hair and beards and all that. So... I'll get in touch with him and we'll see what he lets me do. Uh, the fans. I mean, I've, I've, when I played, I've only had a bunch of fans booing me when I've come out of the pen. To actually have them cheer for me now, I think it'll be definitely a unique experience. I mean, without the fans, we don't have a team. So I'm definitely looking forward to meeting them, meeting the coaches and owners and everything. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I have one heard of Winnipeg. I know they have the Winnipeg Jets, a hockey team. Unfortunately, I'm a Capitals fan, but uh, I know a lot. I know a little bit about Winnipeg. I played in Ottawa and Quebec, in Quebec, so I played in Canada before, but I've never been to Winnipeg, so I am looking forward to it. <laughs> 